Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. going to concentrate on paying bills and this is my bi-weekly paycheck to paycheck budget system. Uh, recently I just did a video on how I migrated all of my budgeting forms and information into this planner right here and this is pretty much just made up of my own principles, some homemade dividers, and of course some happy planner rings and a happy planner cover. So the reason why I like this is because it is very durable. I like these hard covers and I also think it just looks nice. I like the simplicity of it. Um, you know, I think budgeting is a very serious thing in your household and so I think this has a serious cover. Um, and I just like the way it looks. So we're gonna get into the paycheck budget for this week, but let me adjust just a fraction and I will zoom in and be able to show you guys everything that's going on here. So this is one of my uh, newest printables and what I like about this, the most exciting part of this to me, are all these tabs that I created. And so I did these with a Brother label maker and some Avery tabs and the tabs are repositionable. So if you decide at some point that you don't really like uh, the dividers any longer or you want to just move the tabs for any reason whatsoever, uh, you can peel them off and restick them uh, several times before they actually go bad. So this paycheck is for April 24th and my husband's unemployment still has not come through so this is going to be um, featuring just my pay only and so I do have enough to pay the bills but I am going to do something a little bit different for uh, next time so that would be two weeks from now when our bills are due again. This is a little smart fit um, pen and pencil holder and it just holds my most used things at the moment and the reason why I use this even when I'm home is because sometimes I take these things to different rooms. Sometimes I will work on my planner and budget in the kitchen um, and when I say budget I mean basically you know kind of keeping track of our spending um, and sometimes I'll go in the dining room, sometimes I'll go in the living room. You know it's quarantine life right now so I'm trying to make the most of all the rooms in the house just to give a different uh, background some change of scenery so I have that and I am pulling out my paper made ink joy uh, gel 0.7 pen which is one that I really like to use and let's get into the numbers now this was last payday and that was April 10th and these are all the bills that I took care of on that day um, this is this is just a little homemade divider and this plastic is actually from a wrapper on a happy planner and if you guys get new happy planners or happy notes notebooks don't throw the outside away because it's already factory hole punched and so I just trimmed it down and I made like a little bookmark for myself so I'm going to pull out well actually I'll leave it in um, in here for now so let's get into the bills that we have to pay. Now, what I'm doing a little bit differently is I'm going to hold the extra money from this paycheck and I'm going to move it until the next payday. And the next payday is going to be two weeks from now. And I have a lot of bills due again, but my paycheck will not cover all those bills. And so I need to make sure that we are covered without dipping into savings as much as possible until my husband's unemployment comes through. So I'm going to use the extra that we have from today and I'm going to just hold on to it uh, electronically, of course. I'm not taking out any cash at the moment. I'm using, even for my um, categories, my spending categories, I'm doing everything electronic and tracking everything electronically. Um, so it's a cashless cash envelope system at the moment. So I do have quite a few bills that are due today, um, not as much as last time. At the beginning of the month, I have more due than the end of the month. So this is going to be the April 24th, 2020 paycheck. I don't know what payday number that is for the year and I, I'm really not concerned about that. So the amount was 15, 16, let me see, 15, 16, 
15, 16. I have to write these things down, guys. Otherwise, I would, this video would be a whole heck of a lot longer than it actually is right now. Um, so it's 15, 16, 54. So that's my pay. And I'm just going to call that a single payday, even though I really don't kind of track that anymore either. Um, but just because um, I was the only one with a paycheck coming in this time. So the things that I have do are Navient. And if you're not familiar with that company, that is a student loan company. And um, my student loans are not eligible for any kind of freeze or any kind of... Um, I don't know, assistance or deferral at this time. And that's okay because I do have enough to pay it. And I feel like if I have enough to pay my bills, I need to keep doing so because I don't really want a, a disruption in them or to have to lengthen the terms and the, uh, the timeline of my loans and things like that. So um, I have cable due. And I have water due. Our water bill has been, oh my gosh, insane. Our water bill is insane. It's in my opinion. So you guys are going to have to kind of um, let me know what you think about that because I'm curious what water bills are in other areas. So I live in a township, but we have to pay the closest city for our water. And so um, there's a lot of taxes to it. And it just is in my opinion, it's extremely out of control right now. Um, so my student loan budget and amount is $95. And for actual, and I don't think you guys can see this that well. Um, for actual, it's pretty much the same. Um, what I do in these videos is I just round up if it's just a matter of cents pennies, whatever. Um, and that's only to make this kind of this system in this video um, just go a little bit more smoothly. So I am not even going to write down actual right now. Uh, no, you know what? I will. I'm just going to write down 95 again. It's 94 and change. And our cable 220. And it's actually 219 and change. And our cable bill also is ridiculous um, in my area and I know I've talked about this before because some of you have weighed in on in the comment section uh, there's only one cable provider to choose from and so uh, yeah, we don't really have a choice of what things cost as far as internet and basic cable and things like that the only premium uh, stations that we have right now um, is HBO and we contemplated on canceling it, but we had to keep it for six months. I think we ordered it back in November or December. I want to say November. And um, it was like a special rate or something like that. And But you had to keep it for six months. And so I think right now I'm able to cancel it. But I think I'm just going to wait a few more weeks, maybe one more month um, until quarantine is over. Just so we have something extra to watch sometimes. Um, because our Netflix too... Our Netflix plan is just for one device to watch at a time. So if I want to watch something and my husband wants to watch something different, we can't do that. So I could upgrade to that, but it's just nickel and diming yourself. Do you know what I mean? So our water bill is 102. It was 101 and change. And that's also what I'm talking about. I think that is crazy outrageous because we're not watering the lawn right now. We don't have a swimming pool. Um, we're washing clothes as usual. I, I don't think we've had any difference in how often we're running the washer um, com now compared to when we were leaving the house for work. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just wearing lounge clothes right now, so I put quite a few of those in a load. I, I don't know what the difference is, but our water bill is so high. Um, and so... You know, and I don't even think it's because an actual reading versus a estimate because it's it's been high and around here people are just saying it's gone up. So anyway, we have 340 for my husband's lease. And no, that's not right. It's 340 and change, but you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. It's I usually budget 341, uh, but we'll leave it like that. So let's add all of these up with the calculator and I'll zoom out just a bit so you can have the full view. Um, but anyways, so as far as cable goes, like I said, we just have the one provider 
and we could go to like Dish Network or something like that, but I've had some friends who have made that change and, you know, gone with satellites of some kind. And because of our weather around here, they have nonstop problems. And I guess the uh, satellite company or Dish will sell you uh, kind of an acrylic cover for your satellite or something like that. I don't even know because you know snow can disrupt it or high winds and we get so much of that like we get everything here except a hurricane and we will get the aftermath of a hurricane all right 757 here too so as you can see this week compared to let's just go back to last week um i budgeted 220 and we had 1896 in bills due so that's going to happen again next week or i'm sorry in two weeks from now we're gonna have probably 1900 dollars in bills due so that's why i need to create keep any rollover that i have any excess and i need to hold on to it and plan to use it uh, for the next payday to cover everything so our variable expenses this week not no big deal um we have um food you know and that's groceries and um, carry out that we're planning on doing so that is 140 so that's why it's a little bit higher usually we don't do as much carry out um, it's just not our thing we like to go out to eat but we can't go out to eat right now um, and then the dog's um, food is going to be 25 we buy the same kind for them every time and gas is 25 now our gas has gone down and I mean fuel for the cars so much. Right now it's a dollar twenty-nine a gallon where I live. And my husband has a truck and so it takes a little bit more to fill his up, but twenty five is gonna do it. Um sometimes he drives my car, like if he's doing errands for us, going to grocery store and whatnot. Uh it just depends, but twenty five will definitely cover us. So I also um purchased something online and I used my Discover card and I'm going to have to pay that back. So that is going to be 43.09. Now, some of you guys will remember um, that I had mentioned that I got a, a new laptop. I had to get a replacement laptop finally. And I didn't want to have that bill hovering. I just, I don't know. I, it just made me nervous because we just got out of credit card debts and I really just didn't like the idea of 12 more payments, even though it was interest-free and the payments I think were like 60 some dollars a month I took it out of our savings and I just paid it off and I just thought you know what before I get into some kind of situation where all of a sudden I have credit card debt building and building I just wanted to get rid of it and I feel blessed that I was able to so that's not right all right 140 plus 25 plus 25 plus 4309. I don't know why it's not, uh, there's a setting on my calculator. It's not acknowledging the decimals. Okay. I don't know what that setting is, but <laughs> I'm going to try it one more time. That's so weird. 140 plus, let's say, 50, 25, and 25 plus 4309 equals. All right, I don't know, but it's 23309. I'm going to round it up to 234 because, as you guys know, I don't like to do the whole decimal thing. So we have 757. Oh, let's do this first 15, 16, 54. Fixed expenses were seven fifty seven. Variable expenses two thirty four. So what I do then is I add our fixed and our variables, so I can have a grand total. So seven fifty seven plus two thirty four is nine ninety one. Now fifteen sixteen fifty four minus nine ninety one leaves us $525. Now let me do that again. <laughs> All right, 15, 16. 
54 minus 757 minus 234 is 525.54. So I'm going to um, go down 525. So sinking funds amounts, I'm going to cross this off. Next pay, <laughs> I hope if I spelled next right, buffer is going to be $525. All right, and the reason why this is so important is because like I said earlier, our bill's last payday came to 1896 and our pay was 2079, uh, which is great because we still had some extra money coming in from uh, my husband's last pay, uh, but and it wasn't even a full amount, but we didn't have much left. So 1896, my typical paycheck is this. So obviously I don't have enough to cover 1896. So this money is gonna come in handy. Now, the reason why I'm, you know, extra kind of glad at the situation right now is I know I'm not gonna be going out and spending any extra. So this 525 that I'm letting hang out in the bank until I need it next payday um, is going to still be there. So I know that I can count on it and I'm not gonna be tempted to spend it or anything like that. So that is how my budget measured up for this payday. Um, I hope that you guys are still enjoying these videos. I enjoy making them. Um, if you have any other recommendations for budgeting related content or anything else really, I'm totally open to that. Please leave it down in the comments. And I wanted to thank those of you who always watch until the end, which I think is great. I, I really appreciate that. Um, but if you uh, enjoyed this video and you can give it a thumbs up. That would greatly help my channel. So thank you so much. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.